Glastonbury came into my life really as a child. My father was working in circus, my mother worked within circus and walkabout, so we did a lot of that. And then from there, when I was 17, Arabella Churchill said to me, would you consider working and taking on the big top? And I was like, maybe. Um, and I did, and here I am. I love the art form so much and I just had a great belief that actually if everyone works together and celebrates it together and supports each other, anything is possible. And that I think we prove in this tent every year. At Glastonbury we host some of the best circus that the UK has to offer and also some of the best international circus that is currently around. You know, there's nowhere else in the UK that has this much circus at one time. So we vary between about 48 shows and 54 shows, I think has been our record a day. Five minutes set and strike between them, they vary between five minute shows through to an hour long show is pretty much our longest show that we will take um, and really nothing is too complex for us. has evolved massively and certainly in the last sort of 15 20 years it's really really evolved and come out of itself and I think British Circus in particular has really moved on and developed its own style of contemporary circus which is an absolute joy to behold really and here what I really try and do is in the Circus Big Top celebrate all forms of circus no matter where it comes from. So a Different Beast is a circus show with four people in, um, sort of focusing on acrobatics and dance, and we also have a Chinese pole in the show. It's about sort of cognitive dissonance, which is when you have two conflicting thoughts which you can't quite rationalise and the effects that has on you as a person. It's also sort of about capitalism and exhaustion yeah. and the things that can do to you and the side effects all that has sort of on your, on your brain, your, your yeah. everyday like, well-being. How you cope with yourself and how you cope with the confrontation of people around you that are different. The big thing about circus for me was, to begin with, it was really just about the skills. It was like, it came from sort of, like, sort of gymnastics sort of thing, being like, ah, oh, this is new, exciting things to learn for me and what I can do with my body. But over time, it's become more about the people and the yeah. sort of international community of really friendly, lovely people that circus has within it. So evident yeah. here and evident wherever you go within circus, everyone's super nice. I feel like as soon as we came inside this area, yeah. we were like, in this big top family and I've never been to Glastonbury before so it's really nice the vibe that you get all of, from everyone. So my axe imprint it was about how people live on through memory like when they pass away like you know their memory still lives on and it was quite a personal piece for me because I lost my dad when I was about 11 so I wanted to do something about that because it was personal to me. So yeah, it's just sort of a celebration of the memory rather than like a, that kind of thing. So I began as a dancer and I trained that when I was quite young. I like, like the challenge every day. I just love doing it. I love like I used to love dancing like even from a really young age I love performing yeah I just love it that's all I can say really Circus Big Top we have a wonderful crew and really I would say they are my family and they always have been and the support that I get from them I couldn't do this tent without them they are integral to it 
they all work incredibly hard but what we also have is some of the most skilled people in the industry so particularly the riggers they are incredibly skilled in their own areas and to be able to do this you know the harmony and the work with that but then you've also got the office fairies you know without them running that side of it it wouldn't happen the backstage crews and the backstage managers without them it wouldn't run because we literally run for 16 to 18 hours a day five minutes set and strike between every single show no matter how big or small it is sometimes the small ones just allow us to breathe a little bit The best place in the world to inspire youngsters to see that there is an alternative to the nine to five rhyme if you work hard. I say this to all my students when I teach circus, it's just about working hard, it's about training, deciding you want to do it and making it your life choice. I grew up in Wilkie Hole Circus and I did it since about 2007, I worked there for about nine years. I really enjoyed it and went along for a workshop and was there ever since. <laughs> Circus has given me everything. It's given me passion, it's given me freedom, it's given me, you know, I've been able to express uh, just my life and feelings. Love circus, I adore it. I think it's the best thing. Having grown up with circus, it is just one of those absolutely adorable things that I think brings all walks of life together, no matter where they're from, and everyone is celebrated for their individuality and who they are.